What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing an e-bike hammock camping stealth type video. I'm gonna be taking you guys along on this fun little journey where I have to do some editing today. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out all those links down below. There might be a bike you like. All right, so first I'm gonna go get some food because I'm starving. We'll bring it out to the woods. We'll get the hammock all set up. We'll start eating and then I'll start editing. So I've been practicing a lot of wheelies with these new Huntsman tires and I think I've definitely been getting a lot better. And after the torque update, it just made life so much easier. Yes, guys, it's always like this, all year. All right, I'm gonna pick up a sub from here and then we'll get onto the woods and set up my hammock. I got myself a little Italian sub, Rockstar, a little bit of water, and of course, guys, you guys know, plenty of hot Cheetos. So this is the Breakwater Junction Trail around Rehoboth Beach. It connects to Lewis Beach, in case you guys are wondering. If you guys, you guys ever visit around here, this place is awesome to ride. Love riding in the woods. <laughs> okay, we've made it to the trail. Quick turn around. Oh yeah, and back here, guys, I remember before the Super couldn't really ride through some of this sand back here. It's actually ripped up those hills a lot easier than ever. All right, remember this stuff is pretty deep. Oh wow. Let's start slowing and just kind of rip through it. Yeah, <laughs> it works pretty well. Looks like people go camping back here, which is pretty neat. So I'm gonna set up my little daytime hammock right in between those trees right there. Let's rip around this little bit. I'm hungry though, so I wanna set everything up ASAP. <laughs> yeah. The super is more fun than it's ever been, ever, 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 ever since this update, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Any little bump that this bike hits now, it shuts off the motor. I wonder if that's some kind of like safety thing, guys. Comment down below if this happens with your Super 73 bikes after the update. <laughs> All right, we have reached our location. I'm gonna set up in between some of these trees. I'm gonna pull out my hammock and then we're gonna get set up and eat some food because I am starving. What we'll be using today in our little daytime camping trip with our e-bike, we have the Eno Jungle Nest Hammock. I'll throw an Amazon link down below for that. And we also have the Eno Helios XL suspension system. So what I'm gonna do first is figure out which two trees I'm gonna use this on. So I'm thinking like these two are spaced apart pretty well. That one, hopefully this little skinny one will hold me. So I think I'm gonna do those two. We'll put those on there. So what these are good for is for saving the tree and not hurting them. We're just gonna pull that straight through like that. So we got one side. All right, second strap. I'm gonna try to keep it around the same height. There we go. Now we got our hammock. So if you see in the bottom of this hammock has that little connection point. So you see right here, you're gonna wanna slide that little green metal piece right through, just like that. Now you got one side connected. And what's cool about this little string here, you can actually make it longer or shorter depending on how you have it all set up. So now what's cool about this hammock is it does have a mosquito net, so it'll keep me protected from any biting horse flies or mosquitoes. And there you go, as it comes out, Boom, we already have one side attached. Now we get our hammock. <sighs> gonna wanna stick that little piece of metal through that little gray loop. That's what's gonna hold you up and safe. And then you pull on the other string to shorten it up to whatever length you need it. That's what I actually love about that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the mosquito net. So remember we had this little bar gonna have a little slot right here at the top it has like a little hole you just push it straight through get it to the other side boom and then you clip it 
boom now it's clipped shut just like that so i might shorten out the other side a little bit sweet we got it all set up i'm so stoked to get in this thing super stoked on this setup guys comment down below if you guys have ever been like hammock camping or stealth camping and that's how it opens up there's like little pockets in there for your cell phone so i'm gonna get my food in here crawl on this bad boy and we're gonna start editing some videos All right, got my rock star, got some water, a sub. Oh, I think it still needs to be tighter. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, and there's like more pockets up top here. That's awesome. All right, let's lay out. This is awesome. All right, before I start editing, I need to eat this sub. Super stoked about this. Oh, that looks so good, guys. Food's so much better when you're like super duper hungry. Food partially destroyed. Well, there's nothing better than this. This is how Puerto Ricans spend their time editing videos on beautiful days. <laughs> With it being so hot out here, it did get really hot inside this thing. So I just figured out that you can actually unzip the whole mosquito net all the way to the end, just like that. All right, guys, editing. Is done. I'm gonna take the camp down, make sure we leave no trace, because if you leave a trace, you're not stealth camping. Wonder how fast we can get this down. I got the hammock packed away. That was pretty quick, actually. All right, there we go. About four minutes and 30 seconds to take everything down and clean it up. All right, guys, my time is up here. We're gonna get the bike started. And just remember, we have the Super Duper app torque updated on this bike. When you turn on the bike, then it connects, then that's when you can switch to mode four. You got full power. I'm gonna check out this trail. I found like a little jump back there. I think I'm gonna come back with the Suron and check it out, but I just wanna show you guys what I found. And I'm probably not gonna jump it with the Super because this thing is definitely not made for jumps and I don't even know if I'll make it up that. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't think this bike would even make it and I forgot I had something on my back. Oh my God. Oh, what the hell? Dude, when did they make all this back here, guys? Nobody has ever shown us this. What the hell? Guys, we have never seen any of this. Yeah. <laughs> we have found a new trail to ride and actually hook up with the Saron. I'm so excited about this, guys. A little dip right here. Dip down. Get a new little circle. And get up. Little berm. Little berm out. <laughs> yes. Yo, whoever made this, I love you. Wow. <laughs> I just found more stuff back here, guys. There's like, whoever's building this, it's like they're building endless trails. Whoa, that's huge. This is so crazy, guys. Oh, look at this little gap. Holy crap. That's kind of big. The range check, we have ridden 13.2 miles total today. I kept it in mode four, unlocked the whole time, and we have killed half the battery. All right, guys, we're gonna get all charged up. I'm gonna hang out at the Exxon for a little bit, and we're gonna get out of here and rip some more trails. I'm just having too much of a fun day, so I'm gonna bring you guys along for the rest of the day. 82%, good enough for me. We'll see you guys later. They're freaking twins, brother and sister. Dewey Beach Willie, come on. Rehoboth wheelie. Trail wheelie. These are turkey buzzards here in uh, Lewis Beach, Delaware. They were drinking this water. Their wingspan is ridiculous. They look like freaking pterodactyls. Oh, wow. It's such a hot day, guys. This feels so awesome riding fast back here. All the shade, nice and cool.
Man, these Huntsman's tires do pretty good in the sand. <laughs> right behind you. Man, these trails are freaking so cool. Suron would be so much fun back here. Oh, it's gonna be hard to turn and get that speed. <laughs> yes, the super would never, never make it up that before. God, the torque, even with half a battery, it's still amazing. I mean, guys, I know it's not Suron level amazing, but compared to what it was before, All right, guys, we're going to end our day right here. That's the end of that fun little day camping trip. Let me know if you guys want to see these types of videos more on the channel. Just comment down below. Just let me know what you thought about this little day trip. And guys, as always, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. There might be a bike you like. And as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next super ride. All right, guys, today's whole journey was 28.9 miles. I hung out outside for six and a half hours. E-biking is awesome, guys.